All right, I am here. I can't believe this. This is like uh, one of those things that you feel real lucky about. I'm in Harvey Grant's old Ram Charger. It's bought by a man named Mr. Merrill out of Oregon, and he actually is a local boy to Cedar City. And he found out that Power Driven is actually located in Cedar City. He's like, well, I'm gonna make a trip home and take this truck to see these guys. So I am sitting in the Ram Charger. I mean, I watched this race when I was like just getting into diesels. This for me is like legendary. <laughs> Turbos, I think it's like a 6675 or 6680, not 100% sure on that. Um, it's got some waste gates that are not currently hooked up. They're just going to probably blow open this first run, but we want to do a run as is before we change anything. And so this is literally our first run is how the truck showed up to our door. We're going to run it in third gear because it's got slicks on. I'm not looking for crazy mile an hour with on a roller. And so we're going to do third gear runs on this. There's no working tachometer. I'm just going to have to kind of watch the power fall off the dyno curve. I'll be watching the screen and uh, see what kind of power she makes first run. Uh, that's assuming everything works. I may just get into it and see a bunch of soot blown out the wastegates and abort the run in entirely. I'm not sure. Not sure. The nitrous bottle is empty, so all runs today are going to be fuel only. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. Really cool, man. So uh, let's get going. Let's have some fun. Alright guys, so we are under the hood of Harvey Grant's old Ram Charger, now the property of Merrill. And um, So this is Merrill's truck now, it was Harvey's. Yeah. But you want to talk about blasts from the past. First thing I noticed, look at these valve cover breathers. K&N's, those are K&N yeah. welded on. Now, I did that on my Junker drag truck because I think I saw either Harvey's pictures <laughs> or Brad Ponce who did this. That was, I was like, oh that's a great idea. Now, everybody that races has since gone away from that because it leaves oil residue yeah, on even, the top of your motor. Here, you got oil, and it kind of runs down, oil. and if you drag race, you don't want to do that. So now they do a dual valve cover breather, catch cans, things like that. But old school, this was how everybody did it. Everybody did it because all the sud pullers did that because they didn't care about oil. Yeah. Drag racers copied. but Big problem. Um, got these, old school. What else you got over there? It's old, old school, school. turbos. This is old school. We're told it's a 366, which look in the cover. It looks small, but I, I mean, this is an old turbo. I mean, the modern ones, a 362 That, that might be like bigger. a B1 bomber from yeah. like PS Bell or yeah, something, about, you know? Yeah, I mean, it might be old school. So we've got some variant of S400 under here. It's probably 475 or we've 480, got a, it looks like. Got a nuts on here, too. Beautiful little clamp nut. I wonder if he lost it and had to get another one. Clamp nut right there. The other thing I noticed, there's a uh, wastegate spacer plate oh, made yeah. by Engineer Diesel. Back in the day, everybody I had, had those. I had one. And they got this funny little, you know, it's like a one inch spacer. And, you know, nobody gates that way anymore. No. Like it's so inefficient for gate flow. But back in the day, that was, that was the it. setup. That's what everybody ran. I, I had that and it broke not too long after installing it. And then after that, I went to Steed Speed and never looked back. Just, yeah, like I say, Steed Speed's the way to go. Um, we're trying to figure out all the stuff on this truck. We got a cool little regulator here. We're thinking that this was a, a boost source from somewhere. It says, what does it say? It says boost feed. Feed. So it probably fed, this probably fed, closed. It's probably ways, a regulator to close that ways, gate. Which we just removed for this next run, but that's probably what that, how that was hooked up, I imagine. I don't, I haven't ran the I mean, this trace. Has a, this has a factory dampener on it and they put four bolts in it, which is total hot router, old school. Nowadays, you have to have an SFI rated dampener to even get through tech. And so uh, yeah. you'd run like a fluid damper and you would machine grooves in it. Yeah, those but, bolts are wild. But man. this is old school. It's like bolted on. Um, what else? The welds look nice. So this compound kit's like clean. Like his welding is like really, I mean, I'm. You yeah, ever weld? That's a good welder. Steel, though. Better than me. <laughs> steel's easier. It's, it's heavy. It's steel. but Tons of nitrous. I mean, back then. I mean, guys, this was well, this the is first. Aluminum. This was the first rig I saw to go wheels up at the drag strip. And it I, was like, oh, I wanted it. When I, I first made uh, Good Times in my garage years ago, 
I made an intake horn identical to this. <laughs> and I fed it from the front. But you had two but it was a two, Yeah, it was identical. I, mean, I mean, I made it just like that, right? The two plates, I was like, oh man, so cool. And look, they're running full pressure through the pump and then they're regulating it on the outlet. It's kind of like what sled pullers do yep. or the, those uh, check valves, yeah, you yeah. know, that we run like on your truck. Yep. So similar technology, but there isn't the fancy, you know, alcohol a, injection he's a good stuff. good amount of nitrous there too. I, mean, I don't know what the jets are, the solenoids, but he's definitely got some. It says 110 right next to it there. And then that one has a dash. I don't know if that means that's a blank or what. Hmm. Um, what else is like old school? Um, I noticed the lift pump block off plate. Everybody has these nice billet block off plates. This one has a little steel homemade one that's like at an angle. You can just see it's kind of crookedly ground. You know, old school works great, but you know, now guys have fancy dress up parts for that. There's no billet front cover, but it has an adjustable pump gear on it. So you have to take the whole front cover off to adjust the timing, but it can't slip. Um, air pipe out the front. Yeah, it's got a big mean green filter. I don't even know if they're still in business anymore. <laughs> what else are you seeing on here? Old school line from like Summit or, oh, you know, yeah. just cheap, yeah, old. big lines yep. for the Turbos. factory injection lines. He doesn't have big lines. Most guys run a 13, run oversized injection lines now. What are those injectors I have? I'm really curious. He's, the, the paperwork from Harvey says they're custom from DDP. So I think they call them their comps. Oh. So they're probably about like a five by 16, but okay. they've probably got some flow mods to get yeah. the K factor up. So um, old, it's got ARP 2000 head studs. That's all there was back then. Yeah, they didn't have well, the that big- was, That was your option. You didn't have 625s <laughs> well, right away. That or, and then the A1 came with the 14 mils. That was a big deal. And that was like all the sled pullers used that. I, got a, I had a set of A1 14 mils so that I was bad to the bone, needed the big head studs. The pump is dual fed. This looks like is that. Is it really? This looks like that one guy's dual fed kit. I can't remember his name that was selling those kits. Oh, um, yeah. This is like Summit Parts, name? a different color. You got the red and the blue. Yeah. It's like a Summit Parts screams me, you know. <laughs> Buy a bunch of Summit Parts and sell it as a kit. That's cool. It's got a Shide 13 mil pump, and Shide still makes good pumps to this day, I hear. So, yeah, you know, you're not going to. Yeah, Shide pump makes fine stuff. <laughs> pump technology hasn't really changed. A ton, you know, some, yeah, but the cam it has, it has. You've got some cam technology there, but and the DLC coatings and the more, you know, like what's some this stuff. line here too? This is just open. Oh, this is a boost reference. Is that the one that you just did? That you just like took apart? No. No. And this one's teed into this coil, and this coil comes from the head. So there's a boost leak right there. Yeah. So if we got like a, little, so if we just had a little straight, we could put those two together and solve our boost leak, right? Just. Hook these two up. That one's on a T, so he's feeding boost to something. I wonder if this went to like his water methanol control. He, everything he says on pressure switches, like your water meth comes on the pressure, and so definitely pressure switches run a lot of the stuff. Hmm. Well, let, let's see. What was the first dyno pull? Two hundred and fifty-seven. Two hundred fifty-seven horse. So That's at nine, at eight pounds of boost. So. Uh, Let's fix some leaks and uh, see what this can do. I hear it even has forged pistons. I mean, that stock power level has got forged pistons. Definitely ready for some more power. Let's do a little more playing. While he, <laughs> you know, eventually, he's going to be doing some some different stuff to this. He's going to be rebuilding it and making it better. But for right, right, I mean, this is this is a proven potent recipe. This thing's been nines, over repeatedly. So this is this is no this is no joke. So anyway, let's do a little thing. We can figure out some stuff here and get another run going. Here's your coolant temp sensor right here. Oh yeah. All right, so we just did some quick boost leak fixes, we think. Uh, we waste fixed gate. that wastegate that was bleeding off a ton. We just capped it. Two wastegates. Two wastegates. We ran pressure to the top pad of the second wastegate. So both wastegates should hopefully stay closed. Um, we found a melted boost line, and then one another boost reference line that just was open. So we had some big leaks there. So without doing any kind of major work, just kind of looking over things, we definitely found some some issues that are not a big deal. We just kind of quickly oh, wait, I patched just found them. Another one. Sorry, we got oh, one. jeez, man.
right, guys, we're going to wrap up this episode. We had some fun on Harvey Grant's old charge now, Mr. Merrill's. Um, this is just so stinking fun for me. I mean, I, I can't even believe it how fun it was. It's been a long time since I've been on a 13 mil pump, and it's, it's, I mean, it brings back memories. It's really touchy. These big pumps are touchy. It's like, it'll make the whole car just jerk on you. Choo, 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 choo. And it's totally doing it. So you got to be really, really light with the, with the foot. Um, we, we found some boost leaks. We made some changes, and it got a lot better. And uh, then it spooled a little better, right? Oh, yeah, so they can boost. It's coming still, it wasn't great, but it was better. The RPMs come up and it's starting to, starting to really work. But in the end, we, we made two final pulls. So, what so we made one pull? What was that pull? We made actually, 400 to the tire, 400 uncorrected, right? No correction factor. So it's, I don't know if it's correct I'm or not. I'm pretty sure it's uncorrected. So, we made 400 so, horse. So, for that one. And then, okay, then we wanted to add some load. That one we didn't have the load turned on. So we said, okay, let's add some load and see if we can really jump it up now. And in the end, we weren't able to make any more power because halfway through that run, we... Uh, we had a fountain on the radiator we cap. Yes, yeah, so we had the fountain of youth here blowing up and <laughs> it was awesome. So we had a big, a big leak. And so the board of that run came here and taking a look. And before the runs, we noticed the, the radiator is quite low. So we put about two gallons into it. That probably should have been our first little Heads up if something's kind of weird going on, but we just thought maybe, you know, fresh rebuild, maybe didn't get filled all the way. Who knows? It wasn't mixed though. The fluids no, was, were all clean. No, it was all fine. Just without, just low. But n now they're mixed. Then after the fluid, <laughs> the fountain of youth, whatever, it mixed fluids. So we threw a torque wrench on there. Yeah. It, uh, they started moving it like 85 foot pounds. Yeah. These are ARP 2000 studs. So, so they, should have, they should be, they should be solid at 125 minimum. So definitely it's got a uh, head gasket popped in there. So we got to, um, I don't know. They got to make a game plan and we'll see. Yeah, so going forward, we're just gonna figure out what we're gonna do. Sorry about all the noise. We got a bunch of stuff going on around here. We can't, we can't help that, but <laughs> we're going to figure out what we're gonna do. Shh, Tyson, shh. <laughs> we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do. We're gonna game plan, get the head off this thing. See the turbos. I mean, we're just gonna go through this somehow, some way, and we're gonna play with this old thing. And this is gonna be awesome. And he's got a he's got a boy who likes to mechanic work, so maybe his boy will be doing some of the work. So that'd be really fun for the little family father son project. Those are always really super cool. So, <laughs> anyway, we can help out. We're willing and we're happy to do it. And uh, I imagine you're gonna see this thing back in the dyno someday in the near future, making a little bit more power than it did this time. Yeah, definitely more. It's got enough pump for well over a thousand. We'll, oh, yeah. see, we'll see what he ends up with, but. Um, yeah, it's cool. Blast from the past. Yeah. And guys, this used to be a rocket back oh. in the day. It was, it was a legit thousand horsepower. You get this thing running right, it's a rocket today. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's faster trucks out there, but it's still a stinking fast truck. So we, this thing's like dialed in. Um, it's really fast, but we got to see what the new owner wants. Does he want a race truck or does he want a street truck? Because it's, it's pretty dang cool. He's driving around anyway. It's kind of fun. So <laughs> this is built pretty racy. Uh, so we we'll want to see what the owner wants. And anyway, guys, this is. Blast and pass, the, the Ram Charger, wheels up, trans brake, nitrous everywhere, Ram Charger, uh, super fun to play with. It's got a brand new home, hope, you know, this thing's going to get some, on some street time soon. So anyway, thanks guys, hope you enjoyed this, and we'll catch you on the next video. See you next time guys. Thanks guys.